Hi, oh my god. How are you guys doing? I haven't talked to you guys in a minute. So, oh my god, it has been some time since I last talked to you guys and chatted with you all. I hope you guys are doing really well, knowing that this world is, you know, going through its hell. And um, I hope you guys are all doing good and being trying to be positive, you know. So, what has been going on with me? Um, so many transitions, so many changes, so many obstacles that I'm facing that are good and positive. And first of all, I just want to say that I'm happy to finally do a video for you guys. And I've been just kind of being patient, real patient, on coming back to you guys with everything, my life, what I've been dealing with, and, you know, just me in general, so let's get started and talk and vent, right? So, I'm not so much going through problems, I'm just... How do I say this? I'm going through a lot of, um, like I said, transitional changes and accepting a lot of things for what they really are. And I'm really happy because I'm not in the situation that I was a year ago. And from adapting to my new home and <laughs> just being able to be happy and live for me and being able, just finally being able to just smile and yeah, I still got a little bit of problems I'm working on, like, you know, just normal things like, you know, bills and, you know, stuff like that, but that's, you know. We're, we're dealing with those things as an adult you got to, you gotta be responsible and that's sort of something that I'm learning and being responsible for your own self and your actions and you guys oh man where do I even start I can't I, I will say this I'm on the right path. I am doing so much better than when you guys would hear updates from me about me being homeless and not having a place to live, going from house to house to just problems, toxicity, you know, it's no longer there. And I like it. I like that. I don't have to be so worrying about things. Me being balanced with my emotional stability, emotional levels, and mental state of mind. It feels good. It feels real good to be able to not deal with so much toxicity and to be positive and to see things in a different light. So as you may know, I currently don't live in the toxicity state that I was in, which was, oh, but I moved on to a new state, living with family. And now that I got my own place, it feels nice. I'm still trying to, in the future, find a different spot for more resources because the town I'm in, it's nice, but there's not a lot of resources for LGBT. And me being a transgender woman, you know, getting everything transitioned as in like, um, from when I used to live back in the state that I was in, you know, getting all the files and everything and having my information just being be organized and, you know, it's in the process. 
Hi. You guys, I just feel so good. So good that I don't have to stress about no buddy. And you have to put yourself first. And I know I've always said that. By putting yourself first and standing your ground for you and just knowing that it's okay to be happy and you don't have to keep stressing and stressing and stressing about so much and when you really see who's really there for you when you push everything away and that person that was always there was yourself you just got to move away from all the toxicity the people everything and just ground yourself and just be happy with who you are inside your heart and your soul if it don't feel right move <laughs> If it doesn't feel good, it doesn't feel right, the vibes don't feel good, just keep it moving, keep it moving. And I really, I really, really like the fact that I can do that and I don't have to worry about people hurting me or people trying to use me for things or people taking my kindness for weakness. And... I have a good foundation, I have family that love me and support me, and it feels good. And I'm sorry that I, I apologize in advance that I didn't update as much as I should have. I just had to really heal from a lot of things and figure myself out. And <laughs> the, the places that I'm going and what I've been feeling emotionally, physically, and mentally, mentally, mentally. <laughs> I'm on the right path, and I've been tapping into spirituality a lot more, and I've been getting into the, I've been, I've been meditating a lot, I've been into meditation, and I've been to, I've been into a lot of intuitive, and intuitive thinking, and intu intuitive, like, awakenings, and calming my mind and I never knew this type of belief was out there and I mean I'm spiritual I mean I you know believe in God and everything but you know furthering it with just everything it's just it's amazing and to be able to be surrounding myself with love and loving myself feels so amazing you guys and when you get to that point whatever whatever situation that you're in if it seems like it's tough, there will be a positive outcome. It's not for long. And you can definitely get through it, no matter what. And let me tell you, I didn't see a lot of blessings that happened. I didn't, I knew that they were happening, but it's just, I didn't, excuse me, let me rephrase that. I am now celebrating the blessings that I was given and being, being able to not have to worry about sleeping somewhere that was cold and being dirty and nasty and stinky and kind of just not worrying about where I'm going to sleep next or who's going to rob me or who's going to do this to me, you know, being able to be around family that I can trust because I don't trust a lot of people because I know a lot of people can do you wrong and turn on you and, you know, when you focus on positivity and you focus on, like, not even positivity, but just focus on creating a foundation for yourself and step step back a little bit and just see, okay, what do I need to do? What can make my my heart internalize with being happy to its fullest content? And that's what I had to do. And that's what I had to fit. I didn't just want to do it random. So I got like, I had a little pimple right here that's going and I keep picking at which I shouldn't be doing that yet <laughs> but um there's so much things that I'm just experiencing with oneself and let me tell you guys it's amazing your girl is doing amazing and I can honestly say that it feels good and it's day by day there's so much joy that I just want to put out there for you guys and just be like you know, it's going to be okay, no matter what you're going through. And I just 
to really help you. I want to help you guys are all doing good. Whatever you guys are doing in the world. Just keep doing it. Keep smiling. Keep just embracing the unique individual that you guys all are. <laughs> so... I'm alive, okay, positive, and being happy with myself and celebrating just me being me, my unique, wonderful self. <laughs> so, I love you, butterflies. I'll, I'll keep posting more videos. It's just, I got to a point where it's kind of like, I need to focus on me. I got responsibilities now, you know, like a house and bills and rent and things I gotta do, you know. Ew, a buggy, even though it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, I'll do my videos. I just, you know, I just want to share that with you guys and, you yeah. know. But, uh,. I love you. Stay beautiful. <laughs>